so continuing with the future method like it let's look at some more questions that could come your way so can you call a future method from another future method the answer is no you cannot call one asynchronous method from another asynchronous method can you call a future method from a batch effect now batch effect we have not opened the questions yet but batch effect is another type of asynchronous effect so no you cannot call a future method from batch effect now can you call a future method from a trigger yes that is allowed so now let us look at this scenario the interview room ask you i have a trigger update trigger on the account that trigger is calling a future method okay understand correctly i have an update trigger on account now that uh, trigger is calling a future method which is allowed okay it is doing some processing now what will happen if i write a batch class batch effects which queries account record and does a batch update on the same account what will happen so this is what will happen right so first the batch effects will run it will query the account records and do a batch update okay on the on the account records now that will trigger the uh, trigger to fire cause the trigger to fire that update now when the trigger is running the future method will be called correct so understand again when i am trying to you know batch effects suppose it queries for some accounts and updates it will trigger the update trigger that update trigger will call a future method so what will happen so you could ask you a scenario based question so the answer is you will get an error something like this it will say future method cannot be called from future or batch method what is happening is why you should explain like you know basically the batch effect has updated the record that object has got a trigger which runs on update and that is again calling a future method so a future method cannot be called from either a future or batch so this is not allowed okay so the why it's not allowed to prevent potential issues with governor limits and unpredictable execution like say for example asynchronous we don't know how long it will execute okay so that is the reason why we do, uh, apex does not allow you to call a, a direct call between future and batch effect so how do you avoid this error now you have seen the scenario right the batch effect is updating some records and then the trigger is running so how do you avoid such error to avoid this error i have to uh, write this in my trigger i have to check in my trigger when this update is it happening is it coming from is future method is the calling uh, method is a future method or is it a system batch method which is calling it okay if you use system dot is future or system dot is batch xyz trigger trigger context variables you can go and check the trigger context video this will tell you that if it is coming from a future method this trigger is called by a future method or if this trigger is called by a batch method so in that way you can check and then you can do a future call or you know you can avoid that uh, this loop from happening so in case if, if the call is coming from is batch or is future you will not call that future method in the trigger okay in this scenario you will not write call a future method if it is in either of these otherwise in the trigger you will have another condition if this is not the case if it is a then in that case what you will do is you will allow a future call so here basically what this if condition is doing if my trigger uh, update trigger is not triggered due to a future call or due to a batch then my i can call other future method okay so that is what that is how you avoid such errors how do you monitor monitor future methods yes you can look at apex jobs and setup you can also query query the async apex job object as object future method is not assigned an id like the other two asynchronous types and sometimes it may not be available in the apex job because it, it since it's an asynchronous accurate future method if the resource is not available the memory and the uh, variables and resources then in that case it will not run and it may not show up in the apex job so couple of considerations when writing a test class for the future method is you will put everything inside a start dot test and start dot stop stop test because to test a future method you will have to enclose this within the stop test and start start test and stop test this basically collects all the asynchronous calls made after the start test method and all this asynchronous process are run synchronously so this way you can test future methods by putting it inside the calls inside start test and stop test 